How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and a lot of you guys have been asking because you guys saw what happened on Instagram. If you don't follow me, go follow me at underscore 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 Drew Peacock. But the other night I was out at a car meet and on the way home I had a little encounter with some local law enforcement. Now I can't say too much because the uh, court date is up ahead and uh, once that's all finalized and stuff we can go in and touch up on the subject and stuff like that a little bit more. But pretty much... I got, I got screwed. Yeah, they um they caught me doing something you probably shouldn't be doing, or at least their their records say I was street racing. I can neither confirm nor deny that, but um, uh yeah, they pulled me over. Luckily, the car was kind of broken, so I didn't really have a choice, anyways. And um, they impounded it. the The super got impounded. Now I already have it back, and I will actually go down the stairs and show you guys kind of one of the issues I've been having with it because I am doing a lot of little touch up work to it at the moment, but um. Quickly, I'll just go over the events of what happened. What I can disclose, I guess I should say. I was at a car meet. The car meet started to get kind of ratchet, so I dipped out with a, a few of my buddies. And on the way home, I was kind of having some fun with my car. And um, some of the fun I might have been having, potentially, on uh, if you were to ask some people, is, is, is slightly frowned upon, depending on the circumstances of where you're at. And uh, as you can see, I'm dancing around terms really specifically because I don't want any of this to be used against me. Um, I did a, an oopsie right in front of an officer, right in front of a, a nice uh, uniformed man. And they didn't like that. So they pulled me over. Like I said, luckily the car fucked up. So um, I kind of needed a tow anyways. They decided to be some, some helpful lads and tow me to the actual impound lot. So kind of saves me a tow trip. Uh, at the same time, though, <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to have to pay a lot of money, but we'll see. Anyways, so I will just talk about what happened once I got pulled over because that is going to be public knowledge, I guess, at one point. Anyways, so car gets up behind me. I had a feeling it was a cop. Lights come on. Get off the, the freeway. Cop comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, license, registration, proof of insurance. I'm pulling over for street racing. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, hand that over you know we, we can act it out mammy come be the cop and she doesn't want to be the cop right now put on your outfit come on i want to see the <laughs> go put on your cop outfit anyways you know hand him my get stuff yeah go get the handcuffs okay <laughs> so he takes my stuff kind of asks me a little bit about what was going on you know i tell him hey man you know i can't really argue with you you know you guys saw what you saw i was potentially doing that so whatever you guys want to say uh, they were really friendly, by the way. Like they were, they 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 were doing their job very politely. They didn't fucking take me out and start beating the shit out of me. So that was really pleasant. Um, they were really polite, and uh, they went back to their car, started filling out some paperwork. They came back and they were looking for the VIN on the car. Now on JDM cars or imported cars, the VINs are in weird spots. So my VIN is actually underneath the hood, at least the one that I can access. So I have two VINs underneath the hood, one on the firewall, and there's a little plaque in there. And so I popped the hood for him, um, just letting it all hang out, letting all my mods hang out, and luckily. Since I have an out-of-state plate, they couldn't do shit. It was actually really relieving because I heard one of them say, hey, are you going to take note of all his mods? And they were like, we can't. He's out of state. So that was great. <clears throat> Anyways, I pop the hood for him. I get out. I show him where it's at and everything. And uh, they have me go step back by their car. And then this is when shit hit the fan. They were like, all right, man, place your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for street racing. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to jail. So put my hands by my back, got the cuffs on me. I'm sitting on the curb. They tell me they're going to impound the vehicle. My boy Eric is with me. They get him out of the car. They don't put him in cuffs, though. Um, obviously, he wasn't driving. And they tell him kind of what's going on, too. The car's going to be impounded, yada, yada, yada. So we're just still chit-chatting. They seem to be, at least one of them was sort of a car guy. So he, he was really appreciating the Super and stuff. He knew of its value and everything. He actually had some Sylvia's back in the day and stuff like that. So he was a car guy, and luckily, he was into JDM. If it was, like, an older middle-aged white cop that owns a corvette I probably wouldn't have gone as smooth you know the guy with the buzz cut on top um or the flat top i should say yeah i probably would have actually gone to jail that night now as we're chit-chatting they're telling me that i'm being super cooperative i'm being super cool so they're not going to take me in that night although i still do have to go to court to fight the arrest and shit like that but they do still impound the vehicle and the reason being is obviously for street racing but i think now this might be just drew thinking that you know they're nice guys or something and maybe they were just manipulating me or something but i don't think they wanted to actually impound the vehicle when we were chatting with them they at one point they said they felt bad for impounding it but i think they had to because when they saw me doing the oopsie they had to actually radio it in because of how fast i was moving to get permission to chase so i think they radioed it in and said what we were doing and then 
it was already kind of you know a paper trail at that point a record of what was going on and i think it's an automatic impound at that point so they couldn't really reduce it on the spot um so we'll see if they even file the ticket because i don't even know if it's in the system yet they might not even file it we'll see after chatting with them for a while i think they they realized that like i knew what i did was wrong and everything and that like you know i wasn't trying to like harm anyone or anything and i wasn't being super reckless at the same time so i have a feeling they they didn't want it to go as far as it did and again i have no hatred towards them or i don't feel you know like uh, you know oh i'm mad at them they impounded my shit now they, dude, they're doing their job i did something stupid I should pay for it like that obviously makes sense so anyways tow truck guy came and this is where shit just hit the fucking fan my car was able to turn back on my fuel relays keep getting fried so i have to figure that out that's one of the issues that i have with the car but i, I put a new fuel relay in on the spot the cops were cool enough to let me go and kind of diagnose my system right there um put one in car was able to start right up sadly they wouldn't let me drive it up um so they let the the tow truck driver drive it up and you already know it's gonna be a bad sign when he's asking where first gears and shit like that um dude smoked my clutch to the point of smoke pluming out the hood now i don't have the video of the smoke pluming out but we have right before that where you just hear him holding it at like three or four grand and trying to crawl up the fucking tow ramp or the flatbed it was bad it was so bad like i said the cops felt guilty they were even just like oh my god this guy's a fucking idiot you know and we even asked we're like can we just not drive it up and they're like no it's a liability i guess it fucking sucked dude was smoking that shit so i probably need a new clutch now thanks to that young lad um but like i said shit happens the clutch was old anyways whatever um it's the least of my concerns they didn't fuck up the car the car has no scratches on it besides that it's just it was pluming smoke it was so embarrassing um but yeah took it in i got it back that following monday car is back i've been taking it apart and doing little things to it just because i want to touch up some stuff so let's go look at it and i'll show you guys kind of what i've been doing all right so here's the little gremlin right here so first things first i have to get in from my passenger side because if we go over to my driver's side excuse the water um if we go over to my driver's side yeah I have to take apart the door so um, I'm gonna actually go back to SSR and have them fix that because it only happened after they worked on the car um, it's not their fault I think just a pin came loose so it's fine we'll deal with that in the future but let me show you guys what's going on underneath the hood so underneath the hood we have a couple issues one my charge piping is gone all the titanium i pulled out and took to jmd tubes to have them polish it and then reburn it so it looks nice and uniform so it'll match with that so if we come over here to my makeshift workbench um let me pull this apart really quick actually you know what i'll just throw in videos of before and after because i already retightened it up but long story short i've never cleaned this filter i know it's a bad thing to do i cleaned it and it should be good now Now the reason of why I cleaned it is because my fuel relays keep frying. So we think the primary pump is working a little bit too hard to maintain the pressure that we want. It's trying to push all the fuel through the clogged fuel filter, which is a huge restriction point, And it's making the pump work harder to try to hit that target fuel pressure. In return for that, it is just completely melting and frying my relays. I'll throw in a couple photos of that right here, and you can see it's clearly melted and clearly screwed. Hopefully after cleaning it, it should help it out, but we're trying to also step up the gauge of the wire because maybe it's just too little of a gauge. It's weird because that's how the relay kit came, but who knows? I mean, we are making a lot of power. We are demanding a lot on the fuel system, so who knows? Besides that, we're trying to get the new action clutch in, uh, so that way we don't have a smoked clutch in there. And then I think, I think I'm going to get rid of these wheels and tires and go with some slicks. I'm thinking about just taking the ones off the Mustang and putting on those and then getting bead locks for the Mustang, unless ESR fixes the barrels for the other ones. When they were on the Supra and one popped, it destroyed one of the barrels. So we need a new barrel ASAP before we can reuse those ESR bead locks. But yeah, other little things we're doing. Um, I ordered up a new shifter boot because this one is kind of torn. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but on the front half, 
it's torn up it's chewed up it's old so we did that and then i'm going to pull off the diffuser and remount it so that way it fits this side a little bit better just a bunch of little gremlins um but i think putting the new fuel filter in with the titanium piping and everything i think it's going to be a nice little freshen up for the car and it's a well needed one too you can't just get in your car and drive it and expect it to run right all the time you have to do little preventative maintenance or maintenance on them in general so it's just a rule of thumb when you think about modifying your car or even just owning a car it's just little things you got to do that you don't take into account until shit fucks up figure i might as well give you guys some news on the k20 so obviously the k20 is in if you haven't seen that video go check it out i finished ordering up i think the rest of the stuff to get probably 90 percent of this car going so that should be here within the next couple weeks we'll toss that all together and i want to have this done by the end of may so that's the goal i want this thing running by the end of may anyways guys like i previously stated i'm not mad at anyone but myself for my own actions it's not the cop's fault for pulling me over <laughs> and taking my car i made the bad choice i did that that's my own fault we'll see how it goes over in court and stuff like that but for the meantime we got the car back that's all that matters so it is what it is <laughs> if for some reason the cops that pulled me over are watching this you guys are cool. You guys are chill. You guys were very polite and respectful when doing your job. And I feel like situations like that are what should be shown off more than just the one oddball bad cop that is out there. Anyways, guys, if you do want to support the channel, pick up some merch link in the description down below. That is all I got for you guys today. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.